Okay, once you log into the uh, Giver Communication Control Panel, all you need to do is enter in your primary PayPal email address. And I'm just going to put in a demo address here. And then put in a subject for your email. Um, I'm just going to say thank you. And then the from email address. And then the name you want to show as the name of who the email is coming from. So I'm just going to put my name in here. Oh, maybe. I'm just going to put my name in here. Um, and now it's time to set up the actual message that the person will receive the template for the message. So in order to do that, you have some options here. Um, you can insert individual components and the details, or, um, you can go to the little button here for templates to start you out. Like you have a template with the image and a title, a template with the right column, um, and a template with just one column. So I'm just going to use uh, the template with um, one column. And notice here it says replace actual content. So if there's anything in the box, once you click this, um, it's going to erase it. So now I have my actual um, content here. And I am going to um, edit it so that it'll be the way I want it. Okay. To edit my image, notice here it says insert image. You don't have to. You can delete this or whatever you want to do. But if you right click on it, you can right click and go to image properties. And now I can put in an image from a URL or I can actually upload an image from my um, computer. I'm just going to use an image from a URL. And it shows up here once I click. Um, and you can give it an alt tag if you want to. Click OK. And now the image is there. Now we can edit this main content here. So I'm going to say thank you. And then I want to put some other information in here. I need to put the person's name. So I'm going to go to insert and first name, space, last name. And then I'm going to put a comma after the last name. And here where it says add main content here, I'm going to say Thank you for your uh, kindness. You can put whatever you want in there. Um, you can make it however large a block of text you want it to be. And then here I'm going to insert my details. So I'm going to go to insert and details. And this will actually put um, everything they purchased or yeah, everything they purchased, their entire donation, um, the subtotals, all that in a table format. And then here you can change the footer. If you want to add some links, you can do that. Um, I'm just going to leave it there for now. And so now I'm going to go ahead and submit. And it tells you the settings were saved successfully. If there was a problem, it'll show you an error message there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this for a minute so I can get set up to actually um, make a purchase so you can see uh, what the email looks like. Okay, so, uh, okay, and in PayPal, what I've done is under the instant payment notification, um, I've went ahead and edited the settings and added a notification URL to the actual location where the, um, where the script is located that I need for PayPal to send their response to. And once I've done that, then, and this is something you only have to set up one time. Um, after that, I'm going to go on and do a transaction so you can see what a transaction looks like. So let's do add that one to cart. I'm going to add a large one to cart with more than one so you can see what that does. And I'm going to go out and click checkout, put in an email address. Um, so that it'll send it to the location where I want it to go. Now I'm going to click continue and I'm going to go on and try to process this payment. Okay. And the payment went through. It was successful. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to close the um, instant payment notification and I'm going to go to that email address and open up that email. 
okay and this is what that email looks like okay I did the product number three twenty two dollars there's one that's the total amount um, the other one I did notice that one has a very long name so it wraps around the unit price and then the total quantity there were two so that's the total amount for it. and then it shows the shipping cost the taxes the total and the payment um, and so that's how that works and you notice here I didn't put enough uh, space in between the first name and last name when I actually did that in the system so that's something to be mindful of um, and then the footer here um, you can put whatever you want there's some links or something all right